Hello everyone, and welcome back to another RxM Co-op Native Shortlink. My name is Valentin Christoph, and today we will be talking about Kubernetes pod security admission. Do you remember the good old days when we used pod security policies to enforce security? In version 1.21 in Kubernetes, that was deprecated. The successor is called pod security admission, and it's stable since version 1.25. But before we jump on the admission side, we need to talk about pod security standards. Those standards are isolation levels, and we have three of them. The privilege, no isolation at all, no security, the baseline, base security, and the restricted, which is the maximum security. Those are non-editable profiles. You cannot edit them, they are hard-coded in Kubernetes core. So now you can use the admission controller to enforce those standards. So how we can do that? You need a namespace. And inside the namespace, we're going to create labels. Inside the labels, we have modes. So three of the modes are enforced, uh, audit and warn. So enforce, if you try to create a pod and you violate the security, it's not going to let you create it. Warning is just going to give the client, uh, which you're using, let's say that you're using kubectl, uh, just a warning. And the audit is just going to give you this message back, right? There is a problem and also is going to put uh, that in the audit walk. And we need levels and the levels are our uh, pod security standards. So you need to choose some of those three. So here is an example how things works. You try to create a pod and you hit the API server and you need to pass the authentication authorization the end admission controller. So if you create your pod, whatever the configuration is in the default namespace, the pod is going to be created. But let's say that you have a different namespace, which is called core services. In this namespace, as you can see, we're enforcing the baseline. If you violate this baseline, the pod is not going to be created. But if everything's fine, the pod is going to be created. We can create another namespace with different modes and different levels so that we can enforce the security that we need. Let's jump on the hands-on and see how we can do that. Here for our demo, I create a single node Kubernetes cluster. And the question is, are my pod security admission enabled? The answer is by default it is. And if you want to check that, you can go to kube system, you can find the kube API server, and you can exec command inside the kube API server. And the command is actually the kube API server. And we're going to use the help. Inside the help, I'm going to search for admission. And inside the admission, I'm going to search for pod security. From that output, I can see that we have enabled and disabled plugins. So here are disabled admission plugins. So everything that you want to disable uh, can go here. But the enabled one, and those are by default, the pod security is inside that. So if you install your Kubernetes cluster by default, the pod security admission is already enabled. So we don't need to do anything. Next is to see those two files. The first file is the namespaces. So we're going to create two namespaces. The first one is going to be called core services, and we're going to enforce the baseline. For the audit and warning, we're going to keep the restricted. And for the maximum security namespace, we're going to use a name secured zone, and we're going to enforce the restricted baseline. So now let me apply that namespace. And over here, if we describe the namespace core services, we can see our labels are here and we are enforcing the baseline. This is the important part. Here also we have a pod. So let's go inside the pod. And this pod, we're going to create it inside the core services. But before doing that, I want to create that pod inside uh, the default namespace. And also, I want to violate the baseline security option, which is called privilege, and I'm going to set it to true. We're going to go to the baselines very shortly, uh, bear with me. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to cut the pot again, and I'm going to apply it. This is going to create the pot in my default namespace. And as you can see, it's running. So now, I'm just going to create that pod in the core services, the same pod, right? So let's run it again.
and over here you can see the error. So now we are forbidden to create that pod and the pod violates the pod security baseline. And if we check the pods inside the core services, we can see there's no pods. So what actually we violate is the pod security standard baseline. So if you go to the official Kubernetes documentation and scroll a little bit down, you can see all the options. So what we violate, we violate the privileged containers. So as you can see, security context privilege and the only allowed value is false, but our value is true. So we violate this um, option over here. So let's go back, edit the pod and change that to false and see what is going to happen. I'm going to create the pod again. And as you can see, the pod is created. Now, if we get the pods inside the core services namespace, you can see it's running. But what is that? That is actually coming from the audit and the warning um, restrictions. And now we can see that we violate not the baseline, we violate the restricted. But it just gave us a warning. It doesn't uh, forbid us to create the pod. So the pod is created and we just get the warning. So this is how you actually can enforce security in your Kubernetes cluster using the pod security admission. Thank you.